I, I really a, a quick a really quick update here on this uh, ohms uh, the the readout on that right there and on the digital meter set there on 20k on the on the little thing right there and if you check that right there you get a 5.08 uh, that's in thousands that's 5,000 plus and also over here you read that that's uh, 5.11 that's 5,000 plus. And this, this, I'm just going to put this spring right here. It's a good clean one right there. See if it'll make that contact right there. And it didn't. Okay, you see both of them combined across through there. That's 10.09. 10,000 10, plus. It's in thousands. Of those two coils combined and uh, this spring here like I say that's that's not what I will use on there this right here that is the original connector on those two outlets right there it's uh, that's a brass one right there this corroded really bad that's a copper one right there broken and this is uh, the old coil if you remember in that last video and and, and just across the uh, reading on the meter over there is 8.28 8,000 8, plus and the two and the other one up are just just to, just to confirm it the reading is 10.17 10, 10,000 plus but uh, that, that's all the R2 the calls if you get a reading somewhere in that range you're good to go but uh, just a couple of things came to mind that might be of interest in you, and then it may be overkill. And if it is, just hit the pause button, go get you a cup of coffee, come back and uh, uh, resume. No need to leave nothing out. Lead out tires through the years. And I think there is another one. I don't have an example of that, but this may cover it all. This one right here, you, you, this, this is a very good one, but it's a little threaded thing right there, and it's got a little, little, little nip, a little drop of solder on the end, and that was the spark plug war. And I, what I'll do is I'll melt that right there, get that off of there, clean it up, and put that back on the end of a spark plug war. About a seven mil, about a seven number seven, and and down in that down in that tire right there it's got threads down in there and you can stick that spark plug down in there and thread that thing in there and it holds it fast oh it's a very good it's really really good but uh but that's one variation of those lead out tires that's a good one right there and the other one is uh this one right here and it has a hole drilled in the bottom down yonder just the size for the spark plug wire and you would skin that off stick that through there and then you would solder it on the back side right here affix those two affixed the, the spark plug wire in there permanently both of them both of them good choices the um, the one that you buy today is this one right here and all it is is just a straight hole with a brass bottom in it nothing in there that's uh it's what you get that's what we're dealing with today this is this is an old one uh a real it's a late old one and this one right here was a this was a really really good one in its day and 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 it, it has it's it's the same way it's got that straight shot in there and it has an undercut in there and that undercut was for this little that little coil of war right there that little it's brass and that would have went down in that that would have went down in yonder you put it down in there and it flares out when you get that thing down in there it expands out in that in that undercut it won't come out it won't fall out oh that was a really good idea it would it would make contact on the on your spark plug war that had the brass connector affixed to the war that was a good idea uh, this is the way you most of them you'll find that little coil of war will be corroded really bad you can clean that up it'll be like new again but that's just a few of the tires that w that you will encounter and the good and the bad and the um, the roller down here that roller should be fixed fast it don't turn 
uh, when you tighten this up, you tighten that up onto the roller and the roller don't turn. Uh, the roller is the wire part. It's, uh, I guess roller is, uh, that's, that's not the correct term. But this is what you'll find with them. These, these are some that I have taken out in years past. And this one right here, I think probably on a, uh, I forget what that engine there has this type right here. But that fits on the outside like that right there. And this one has the square one in here. Uh, a little square. Can't recall what that engine came, what that was, but, but that's one variation. And this one, it's a square type, but you see how much bigger it is than that one. This one just went on the boat itself, and this one right here actually had a roller inside of it. That's how much bigger it was. It just different engines use different drive mechanisms. And, and this right here, that's just a piece of pipe somebody sawed off our thick wall. Probably to, to go in, in this engine here, one of this type, it, let's say. And um, as a replacement, because they didn't have a square one for some reason. But to the extent of how much they were, that and these are these are supposed to be hardened from the factory. These 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 are are these are hardened, and uh, and you, you one of the one of the fixes for them is if you have one that is war. And that's the only problem with it. You can turn it halfway around, and 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 it put the wire places on each side, and it still function as new. Now this one, it's on it's square. See, it's round out here, but where it's wore, someone has wore it that much, and then they loosened it up, and they turned it that much, and tightened it back up, and then it wore equally amount again. It's it's wore completely away. That, that was in a real abrasive environment of some type. And these are just examples. There's somebody made one out of a piece of copper tube, and that's a bad idea right there. And, and these are just examples of how bad they will wear on the side. This one is, uh, it, it's actually wore tri uh, three places. Wore really bad there, there, and there. That's, they've turned it around three times. And this one, that's... Uh, it, this one right here is an example of one that was not tight. It was loose, and it rolled around to the point where it's got high shoulders on it all the way around, and the center part, the center part right there wore away all the way around it. Th this one, and it's wore on the end right there, both of them real bad, probably probably shorter than the other ones. But that that's one that has been loose. Uh, just something uh, something you may find from here on the East Coast, Arkansas, Shop Dog Sign.